Okay, this is a little hit and miss engine I made for my can crusher. I made a can crusher to, uh, just to show students what can be done in a shop. Uh, I've got a planetary clutch on it. Uh, whenever you want it to crush cans, you just grab that clutch and it crushes cans in the front and the back using a little worm gear box with a lot of reduction. Uh, so anyway, I've had people ask me to explain how hit and miss engine works. So I'll do my best. Let me uh, adjust my camera. Uh, first of all, before I explain how a hit and miss engine works, you need to understand how a four cycle engine works. A four cycle engine uh, uh, has four cycles uh, intake, compression, ignition, and exhaust. That's the four cycles of a, a four cycle engine. And a, a hit and miss engine is a four cycle engine. It just uh, regulates the uh, RPM differently than a four cycle, or than a car engine. Car engine has four cycles, like any truck engine, uh, and so forth. So I have my spark plug loose, so I'll be able to turn it over as I explain the cycles. So uh, as I mentioned before, a four cycle engine has four cycles. Intake, in this case, you can see the connecting rod pulling the piston down. Let's do that over. Okay. The piston's at the top of its stroke, pulls the piston down. And, and a hit and miss engine, it doesn't have a rocker arm for the intake. The piston sucks open the intake valve. Okay, it's sucked in some air and fuel. It's at the bottom of the stroke. Then it goes up, compress that mixture. And at the very top of the stroke, the spark plug fires. The combustion, the heat of combustion forces that piston down. And then right here you can see the exhaust open at the at the bottom of the power stroke. And that's the exhaust valve. And then the piston pushes out the exhaust valve. And at the end of the exhaust stroke, the exhaust valve closes and then it's ready for another cycle of intake, compression, explosion, or combustion, pushes the piston down, and then exhaust, and then it repeats. Now the way a hit and miss works, as you can see right here, it doesn't, a hit and miss engine doesn't fire every time. It only fires based on the governor setting. Here's the governor weights, and they're uh, connected to the flywheel. So every power stroke, that's a power stroke, it increases the RPM and it makes these governor weights uh, spread out, centrifugal force. And what that does, it forces this uh, rock, uh, push rod latch toward this latch right here as the okay as the exhaust valve opens it forces that push uh, the push rod latch over and it holds the exhaust valve open so and uh, it'll that latch will stay there until that spring and this and this rubber bands on the fly governors fly ball governors 
uh, makes it close uh, makes it close when the cam comes back around to open up the exhaust valve a little bit and you can see it pop out when it like that right there so then it goes back up to the top and then it's the exhaust valve goes down sucks in the fuel comes back around and fires and then it pops combustion so it centrifugal force forces out the flyball governors and then it latches again and it just continues doing that so it's based on uh, the firing uh, is based on uh, how fast the engine is going and, and the uh, setting on the push rod latch I've got my spark plug loose so I can turn it over. So, uh, well, let's see if I can start this thing now. So let's tighten this spark plug up. Oh, by the way, I want to show you how I fire it. I'm just using a set of automotive points and a coil that's on the inside. Uh, you can see, hopefully you can see right here, I'm using a set of automotive points. So let's say, for example, it's going up on the compression, let's see, it's sucked in fuel, now it's going up on the compression stroke. Okay, it's, it, it's going up on the compression stroke, and it and it fires when those points begin to open, like right there. See those points opening up? That's when it fires at the top of the stroke. Because there's a flat right here on that cam. It's just a, a simple ring of metal with a flat on it. And that's, that's what opens and closes the points. Very simple design. Works very good. Okay, let me see if I can get this thing started. We'll crush a few cans. So I'm burning uh, common fuel or lantern fuel. First of all, I want to put a little oil on the piston. Uh, so uh, I've got some uh, lantern fuel for fuel uh, for in the gas tank. All right, let's see if I can get it started. I'm going to squeeze this fuel line so I see a drop of fuel come out of it. All right, I'm going to. Turn the switch on, that'll work. Maybe. See it whenever the piston sucks open the intake valve. It doesn't suck, it doesn't open very much. I'm going to increase the speed a little bit because we're getting ready to press some cans. Okay. There's the fuel line along with the carburetor.
on to the other end. out of phase so my the cans will fall through a single hole in the middle. Thank you for your interest.